And when they say the way that they, they may not say it with his words, you know, because the scripture says what? That uh, 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 they confess me with their mouths, but their hearts are far from me. Meaning their minds are far from me. When they confess it with their hearts or their minds, that, that's when they don't go out and they serve their Yahweh Shimei Shah. Because when you forget Yahweh Shimei Shah, you forget that you're a servant. Yeah. And then when you get all this money, it's like, what, 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 I don't need no power. I got, I got enough already. Go ahead. Go ahead they ahead. thinking, they thinking that the Most High has given them this prosperity, like the prosperity doctrine in the oh, church. See, they think that gain is godliness. You know, that's just not the case. And uh. Basically, it's a time for everything. Right now, we're in the time of mourning. We're getting ready. We're preparing our minds for Jacob's trouble. I was going to read uh, Ecclesiastes um, 3 and 4. A time to weep and a time no, to... Read, uh, read uh, verse 1 first. Come jump to that. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Right now, jump. Then this is verse 4. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. You know, just like the Passover is a, it's a solemn assembly. We we in a we in a time of mourning, basically. And but like some camps, they want to mention Hezekiah's Passover. But basically, we are supposed to be in the mind of Yahweh Shai. We getting ready for something. Basically, the, the worst time that we ever going to see or ever have seen before. But you know, they want to they want to be in what is it, the house of mirth and in the house of mourning. Right. They, they want to be in the house of mirth. And read that scripture again. Con. This is Ecclesiastes 3 verse 4. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. Right, right. Yeah. The time, this ain't the time to be dancing. This is the time to be mourning. You know? This is not the time to be rejoicing, man. The scriptures say what? And you niggas start your, get, start your, your damn videos with these songs. You know, with these uh, Israelite, so-called Israelite songs. And the scripture says what in, in uh, uh, Psalms 137? How can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Yeah. We're in a strange land. The time to sing the Lord's song is when we rejoice and we back in the land of Israel. Just like when, uh, 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 who, that was Exodus. Exodus the third, no, 15th chapter, I believe. You know, uh, no, it is the yeah, Exodus 15.3. Um, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. That's an actual song. And, um, um, Miriam was singing the song because the Heavenly Father delivered us out of the hands of the Egyptians. That's the time to be singing when we when we're able to when we're able to rejoice. You can't be starting no videos up with uh uh what, what's it uh, uh it's an Israelite party, you know, and all this these uh, Israelite rap songs and all all these songs is trash, you know. All of them are tra they yeah. trash bags, man. Basura, you know, just you know it's just garbage, man, you know. Dudes can't rap, the beats is whack. You know, that it's that stupid repetitive music. They 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 even mimic after bullshit. You know? They can't even do that right. <laughs> How you suck at being worldly, nigga? Like, you know? The shit the things that you know, you know, cause you know brothers <laughs> listen to hip hop to be entertained, if you will. Not, we don't be, you know, glorifying the shit, you know, but the, the, at least we know that the hip hop that's out now is some bullshit. But then y'all mimic that shit. Y'all yeah. can't do that right, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Psalms 37 and 16. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of, of many wicked. Yeah, the little that a righteous man has, man. Because a righteous man is a, has abundance of knowledge. You know, he's, he has abundance of, 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 of wisdom, man. Because what does the scripture say? Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. So no matter what, if that, that that righteous man, no matter what condition he's in, he's going to be stable. A man that's uh, 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 relying on um, um, the stability of riches, you know, or, or, or he's relying on gold or relying on riches, tangible things, if you will, he's going to lose his marbles, man. You know? You niggas is lost, man. You 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 guys out there lost, man. You 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 sit there and think, and then the thing is, Baloo will say something like, "You guys are envious of Nate." The hell are you talking about, man? Nate doesn't know that he claims not to know the name of the heavenly Father and His Son, and we're gonna be uh, and the Apostle Tahar is envious of that. Is it so? If Apostle Tahar is envious of that, that means we're envious of, of Nate. We want to do what the fuck is Nate doing? But these are the same guys that say they don't know the name of the heavenly Father and His Son. But the Scripture says what that. That the name of the Heavenly Father is a strong tower and the righteous run unto it and is safe. So, who's envious of what, man? 
if anything, they should be envious of us. We're, we're the ones coming out bold. You know, we're the ones that's coming out uh, professing the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Y'all be out your mind, man. Whatever brothers got. Um, if I could make this point also, like like the the, the people who, who plan on or trying to win the the, the Powerball or whatever, right? right? Like a lot they of people. To win the Powerball. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they got their tickets, you know. But the thing is that the people who who, who like like a fool who would get the, the the Powerball money, you know, they get the money, but then they don't realize like all the type of problems that they had to deal with when they get the money. You know what I'm saying? Somebody probably hold your family for uh, ransom, you know? You probably have to deal with uh, fake friends coming yeah. to you, you know? Six you, it's like the money, that, that the bullshit that comes with it, man, ain't, ain't worth it, man, you know? You you, 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 you got so so many people that, that's focused on, on getting that money, you know? And and and, and, and storing up that, 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 I got scripture, um, they 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 want that money for the wrong reasons. Uh, Mark Six and five. eight and thirty six. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the world and lose his own soul? That's right. You know, you you gain the money and and the next thing you know the dollar bill collapse, and and then you you know. Before, the, yeah yeah yeah. They want to hold on to that money after that, and then what? Then what they gonna be forced to take the chip? Yeah. Then that's losing your soul. That's selling your soul, man. Well, you going? You dare say, well, well, we just the dollar bill just collapsed. Uh, we got to give you this chip to, to say that you got the rest of your money. Right. You know, and some yeah, the, the people, the idiots, uh, something, man. Yup. Yup. Oh, uh, get bring that out. This is First Timothy six verse five. Perverse disputings of men. No, you know what? Read verse one, then jump to verse four. This is First Timothy six verse one. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of the Most High and his doctrine be not blasphemed. Right. Now jump to verse 4. That the name of the Lord be not blasphemed, right? Go ahead. It's verse 4. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doctrine. No, no, Salah, so read verse 3. Come. If any man teaches otherwise, and consent not to wholesome words. What's wholesome words? Uh, faith. That's a wholesome word. You know, having faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's wholesome words. Mercy through mercy and grace through Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, that's wholesome words. You know, keep going. Even the words of our Lord Yahushai Hamashiach, and to the doctrine which is according. To godliness. Now, you see, it says godliness, and then it has those marks, and it's going to explain to you what godliness is. Go ahead. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doubting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil, surmising, perverse disputings of men, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth. Supposing that gain is godliness. You're supposing that gain is godliness. Go ahead. From such withdraw thyself. And from such withdraw thyself. You know, so you ain't what anybody that's talking about gain is godliness, talking about building Israelite universities and uh have because that's naked. Uh, what would he say it uh, uh what did he say that um anybody any uh leader that's teaching not the progression yeah. of his uh, of his people or whatever the case is, that's that's teaching that gain is godliness. You know, talking about uh, the progression, any, any, any Israelite teachers not teaching them the progression of his people and all that, you know, what, you, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to withdraw from them. He just, he directly, what scripture did he bring out to back that up? Yeah. Because that, that, that was literally opposite of what the scripture says. Yeah, where, where did Yahweh Shai ever come and, sit and say some bullshit like that? Right. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna look up real quick. I'm gonna look up this word. It says gain. The word gain. The word gain is acquisition. Gain, source of gain. Yeah, from a derivative, oros, a way, means furnishing. Now, when you get a house, you, you, you wanna furnish it. You wanna deck it out. Make it all look good. You know? I never recorded me too. Well, uh, it says, by, imp by implication, money getting, acquisition, gain. Now, 
Uh, read, read the next verse, verse 6. Because he said anybody that's teaching that, the acquisition of money, that's uh, 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 they're supposing that that's godliness. So obviously it's not godliness. Go ahead. This is verse 6. 1 Timothy 6, verse 6. But God, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Meaning you good the way you are, man. You ain't trying to do too much. Going back to what the brother read in, what's that, Proverbs 31. You know, feed me with food convenient for me. That's what contentment is. Keep going. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Right. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Right. Food and raiment. It didn't say nothing about building up schools or building up a university. You know? Keep right. going. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. Yeah, they fell into a trap. Why? Because it's, the, the scriptures say that the gold is cankered. I mean, it, it, it's, uh, uh, it, it, the, the money ain't, it, it's not worth anything, man. It's corrupt. Keep going. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Yeah, drown men into destruction and perdition, which perdu perdition is uh, synonymous with destruction, man. You know, which that perdition is really talking about ultimately was going into the, to, to the, uh, 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 to the nuclear uh, missiles, man. You know, because that's the, that's the, that's going to be the ultimate destruction because the scripture says what? If anyone is to take that chip, because at the end of the day, somebody with their mindset is straight directly about money, you know, uh, 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 riches, uh, corrupt riches, they're going to want to take that chip. And then what the scripture say, what the consequence was of taking a chip. You know, they're going to be tormented in front of the angels. You know? Basically with those missiles. Keep going. For the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. You can get money, you know, in the spirit. You can have a little money, have some money saved up. You know? Like if your car breaks down or you need... Or, or some brothers got it better than others where, you know, you're helping out brothers or whatever the case is. You know, if the Lord puts you in that lot to where you know that uh, you able to get a little money, and but well, fine, so be it. But you can't. We ain't supposed to be loving it. We ain't supposed to be, oh, oh man, you know, I, I uh, 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 dissing brothers just to get money, if you will. You know, putting the money above everything else. That's what. That's when you uh, uh, put. That's when you're loving the money. When you put it above everything else. You know, we put this truth, we put this knowledge, wisdom, understanding above everything else because we love doing it. You know, that's the real riches. Keep going. Which, while some covet it after, they have erred from the faith. Yeah, they erred from the faith. What's the faith? Going out and doing the work at the end of the day. The scripture says what? Faith without works is dead. So I'll show you my faith by my works. What's the works? Going out and teaching. You know? Go ahead, brother. And pierce themselves through with many sorrows. Right? Keep going. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh... Okay. Scripture. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Proverbs 13 and 7. There is that maketh himself rich, yet has nothing. Yeah, plain and simple, man. <laughs> yeah, has nothing, man. Nate don't got nothing, because he said he don't got the name of the Lord. You know, you don't got the name of the Lord, you ain't got nothing, man. You know, you don't have no defense, because the scripture says what? That money is a defense, right? But if you got the name, if you don't have the name of the Lord, you ain't got nothing. Right. You know? Because at the end of the day, that's the that's the true riches, you know. That's the that's the money that you want to have, man. You know the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man. You know of of Yahweh Shimi You know, you got more. Yeah, there is that maketh himself poor, yet has great riches. Yeah, have great riches, man. Great riches, how? Because again, you know, he's doing the work of the Lord. He's uh, amongst the brethren, you know, studying and researching. You know, but he don't got nothing. He doesn't look as good. It doesn't look as good, you know. But yeah, hey, guess what? He's he's he has an abundance of riches still. Okay. You know, the scripture says what? Wisdom lifted, wisdom lifted up the head of him of low decree. So you in a low state? If you got wisdom, this that'll pick your head up. You know, money money don't pick like you said earlier, brother. You can get the money and then fall into all kinds of bullshit. You get a heart attack, get all kinds of doctor bills, and your body, you get all kinds of body ailments. Suppose you get you get all that money, then you got cancer, then what? Right. What, what, what good is that fucking money? Because you're going to suffer in that cancer. 
But the scripture says what? Wisdom lifted up him at a, at a low decree. You know, meaning that if you're in a low state, you got your mind is fucked up. Hey man, if you got wisdom, you're gonna you're gonna lift your head up. You know, because you got something to look forward to. You know, God. In the example of the person who, or, or, or example of someone who who made themselves poor is Yahweh Shah. Right. You know what I'm saying? The 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 the, the heavenly uh, son of the father, man. You know, right. Rabbi right. Heavenly Father, man. Yahweh. You know. He, the, Yahweh Shah is the, the, the king of this earth, man. Right. You know? But but he made himself poor. Why? For our sake, man. He's the example, man. Yeah, it's good to say he made himself lower and lower than angels to suffer with his brothers. You know? Again, again, going back to that whole uh, uh, ideology of, you know, you basically, you like the Nino Brown of the hood, uh, 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 Nate. You know, you, you, uh, 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 you over here splurging while everybody poor. You know, but yeah, you throw out a couple turkeys, you know, or you throw out a, 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 a couple biscuits here and there, a couple bones, whatever the case is, or Yohanna, you want to use him as an example. You know, he's splurging and then when it's time, oh, we going to give to the hood. You know, Brown did the same thing, but yeah, he was robbing the hood. He was robbing it. He, he, right. was, he, was, he was making everybody else suffer. He was killing them. He was killing them. Your brother's got anything else? Yeah, 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 I got something. Uh, uh, Job uh, 20 and 15. He have swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. Right. God shall, the Most High shall cast them out of his belly. Go ahead, speak on it, brother. So basically, man, like, like, because the brother was making a, a point earlier about, like, like in these, these movies and stuff like that. Well, one of the things you always see in these movies, you know, is the, the money uh, flying away, man? Right. You know, so th that's a sign for for y'all idiots uh, to or because I'm not even worried about the idiots, you know. It's more so about the the, the brothers, man. Right. You know, the elect, the ones that's gonna get it. You know, the, the the money is about to be done away with. You know, ain't nothing in this world that's worthy of of, of losing, man. Losing y'all by some y'all side, because the the, the the lesson says y'all by some y'all side is the richest, man. You know, going into this, the scriptures and applying it, man. You know, that's the riches, man. The, the kingdom is the riches, man. Everlasting life, you know. That, that, that you, These people out here chasing after stuff that's worthless, you know. It, it, you get the money, right, the, the, the Powerball, for example. And then next thing you know, you, you got all type of sluts that's trying to come after you. Gold diggers. Hell yeah. You know. Niggas you ain't seen since junior high school. <laughs> But but then in the kingdom you're gonna be rich, you know. Then you're gonna have virgins, you know. Women that that's beautiful that you know ain't gonna be out here uh, hoeing, the hoeing, you know. They're gonna cook you, cook cook food for you. They're gonna be in order. You're gonna have servants, man. You know you you gonna have that money and you still gonna be uh, under uh, order towards the um towards the elite, man. Cause that's their money for real. You know, but but when this stuff goes down, man, that's the when it's when the scripture says the most high shall cast them out his belly, you know, everything that's out here in America, you know, which is supposed to be a rich, uh uh a uh, uh, good uh to these um according to Revelation eighteen, when the merchants uh They lived deliciously with them. Yeah. The the, the merchants uh was happy, right. you know. From, from off of everything that America done had. Well, they were actually sad. Well, in Revelation 18, they were yeah, sad. They were sad. They, were sad. they were sad because um, um, because they weren't able to eat off of America anymore. You know? God. It says them that live deliciously. God. You know, they, they, right now, the other nations are living deliciously with, uh, with America. You know? Because America is buying all their goods. You know? But, hey, when the time comes, where America is destroyed, they're going to be upset. You know? You got it? You want Revelation 18? That's what you was looking for? Yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, go ahead, brother. Um, Revelation uh, 18, I'm going to start at, at 8. It says, Therefore shall have plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall utterly be, I mean, utterly burnt, she shall be utterly burnt with fire. Right, because the, the plagues are going to come quick, you know. Everything can manifest all this year in a couple months, 
You know, keep going, brother. For strongest 